So we're here in Redondo Beach, um, finishing up the day, speaking to public officials and people in a position of authority. And this guy, his name is Mike, and I know that I've been coming by here since 1989. And my wife, Gwen, she even said it's been the 90s since she was in high school um, coming by here. And, I, you know, I would see him from time to time. and. He never would ask for any money, but I always try to help him when I can. And this time things just seemed a little bit down for him. And uh, as you could tell, he could barely even keep his head up, you know. It had to be 15, 20 years that he's been at this gas station here on, what is this, 168th in Hawthorne. And I just want to share with you how, how blessed we really are and the such pity things that we complain about, that we don't have or wish we should have. And there's a guy that the reason is that he's not working is that he's disabled, he can't. And somehow he's become lost in transition and he's unable to get help for himself. He can barely walk and move. So he pretty much stays there at that gas station and I think people just come by and take care of him. But that's just another, another facet of of why California shouldn't be like this, you know? Especially in Redondo Beach, California. I mean, the homeless is not that big here. Why hasn't somebody from the city gone and, and figured out what's going on with him and get him back into a program? But people just don't seem to care because 
They just seem to care about their self, their BMW, and whatever else that they're doing in their personal life. We need more people in leadership power to look out for those like that, that they can no longer look out for themselves. And the bottom line is, you better ask somebody because things are gonna change.